Christians, do you fear God? Let's test that. Question, what does it mean to fear God according to scripture? And now, Israel, what does Yahweh require of you but to fear Yahweh, your Elohim, to walk in His ways and to love Him and to serve Yahweh, your Elohim, with your whole heart and with your whole soul? Here, scripture says, to fear God is to walk in His ways and to love Him. Question, how does one love God? Ramesh, my son, if you will receive my words and keep my commandments with you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and turn your heart to understanding. Then you shall understand the fear of God and find the knowledge of God. For Yahweh gave wisdom and out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Here scripture says that keeping the commandments is the fear of God and that wisdom and understanding will be given to you by the fear of God. Wisdom is the law. Hence Proverbs 9 verse 10. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So if you fear God and keep his commandments, it is counted as wisdom to you. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all of them that do his commandments. Question, can you know God or understand his ways if you do not fear him? If you fear him, you will keep his commandments. But the mercy of Yahweh is everlasting unto those who fear him and his righteousness unto their children's children, to them that keep his covenants and to those who remember his commandments and do them. Here scripture says that the fear of God is keeping his law, obedience, and that if you want to stake any claim to the promises of God or his covenants, you must walk in his ways. Torah, having therefore these promises, beloved, does cleanse ourselves from all filthiness from the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God, the law. Question, how do you perfect holiness? You guessed it, by keeping the law. Stay yourselves and wonder, cry out and cry. They are drunk, but not on wine. They stagger, but not of strong drink. For Yahweh has poured out on them a spirit of a deep sleep. And he has closed the eyes of the prophets and the seers. And the visions of all have become to you as a sealed book, which you give to the learned men, saying, Read it. But they say, I cannot read it. It is sealed. Thus says Yahweh, the people draw near to me with their mouth and with their lips, but their hearts are far from me, and their fear for me is taught by the precepts of men. Christians, even today, when Moses is read, the veil is on your hearts, thinking that the fear of God or the law of God is just a bunch of rules, not knowing it's the image of God. So, Christians, do you fear God? Do you keep His commandments? Or is the veil of Moses still over your hearts? Are you living with a heart of stone? Let's hear the conclusion of this whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man.